Obviously, uh, it's been uh, talked about, you've said it in many FCA contexts, speaking in different places about Coach Bowden's impact in your life, but just in case, you know, take this for a second and make sure we understand as a young coach coming into Florida State, tell us your perspective from the coaching side of that as you entered into his, under his leadership. Uh, well, as quickly as I can, uh, I, I was a graduate assistant coach under Coach Bowden at age 25 in 1985. And uh, he actually brought me in to help him coach quarterbacks. So he gave me my big break in coaching. I coached at Pope John Paul High School in Boca Raton. We went 0 and 10. That's my last job before we worked with Florida State. So. But the one thing I had is I played in Miami. And he thought I had that Miami playbook, you know, because Miami's all the He was like, hey, buddy, you got that playbook? <laughs> you know, I don't have that playbook. You know, he didn't go fire me, right? But, Anyway, he, he, he hired me to help him coach QBs. He came to my first meeting, followed me at the first practice, and, and never came back. So I'm coaching quarterbacks at Florida State under Coach Bowden uh, in 1985. 1986, year two, uh, one of the, uh, we had an open day, and uh, Coach Bowden let everybody go home for the weekend if they wanted to during the open day, early in the season. Long story short, there was an on-campus party, one of the players was shot and killed, Pablo Lopez, big offensive tackle. And a uh, kid, kid out of Miami of Cuban descent. You know, everybody loved Pablo. Red or yellow, black or white, didn't matter. They all loved Pablo, but Pablo had a hard edge. But uh, long story short, he got shot and killed off, off of a pride thing in the parking lot. And uh, Coach Brown had a meeting the next day and basically he said, I don't know where Pablo's going to spend eternity. But I do know this God loves us. He created us. And he, he, he pitched the gospel. I don't want to preach the choir for time's sake. He basically uh, preached the gospel to the team. And he said, that chair right there probably used to sit in that chair. And now he's gone. He said, if that was you last night instead of Pablo, do you know where, do you know where you'd spend eternity? Well, he, he's talking to the team, but the Holy Spirit's talking to me. Yeah. And some seeds that got planted in my life by a college teammate six years later came to fruition. And uh, I, I told my girlfriend, who's now my wife, I said, all right, I said, coach. So the next day I knocked on his door, he said, come on in, buddy. He, he calls you buddy when he forgets your name. <laughs> <laughs> so, I said, I know you're telling the players, but I, I need Jesus. And, uh, so I prayed to receive Christ right there in the office.